Working with Steve Allen at Wimbledon um, was uh, something really new for me because so I went there in 1986. Um, Dave Bassett, um, previous manager of Wimbledon, um, had gone to Watford and he took all the staff with him. I was left with just one kit man. I had a letter come and uh, it was um, from a, a Steve Allen and uh, I'd never heard of. And, I approached the Football Association and I asked them about Steve Allen and they said he was one of the most highly respected young physiotherapists that had taken the examination. So Steve Allen came up to Wimbledon and uh, we had a great interview, um, good questions, good answers and on the back of that uh, I made him an offer to become physiotherapist at uh, Wimbledon Football Club. And I've got to say, <laughs> going into that dressing room or going into that physio room was going to be really testing for him as a, as a young man on his first major job. But uh, he did it and he enjoyed it. There it is! The crazy gang have beaten the culture club. The Royal Highness applauds. One of the great cup shots of all time. Steve, I'd just like to congratulate you uh, on this award. I've got two sons of my own, jo Jonathan and Richard. They've done very well for themselves in, in life. Stevie, I think you were the third son. And I'm really, really proud of what you've achieved, um, not only for yourself, but for your family and, and Steve, the football clubs that you've you worked for. And no shadow of a doubt that if we went back to every football club that you'd worked for, they could only sing your praises. Enjoy, enjoy those praises, Steve, and make sure you don't have too much to do. Maybe I'm blind Thinking I can see through this And see what's behind Got no way to prove it So maybe I'm lying But I'm only human after all I'm only human after all Don't put your blame on me Don't put your blame on me Stevie Allen, when did I first meet him? When I played for Wimbledon years ago I had a serious knee injury, a cruciate ligament That um, I spent a lot of time with Steve He's an absolute gentleman as a guy. He's a top physio, uh, proper bloke, really caring. Um, the award he's going to get tonight, he thoroughly deserves. I couldn't think of anybody better for it to happen to in football. Um, I took him to Portsmouth with me, and again, obviously, to Bristol City then, where he just carried on his good work. He's an absolute gentleman. Um, I love him to death, and I hope he has a great night. Best wishes, mate. Some people think I can solve them. Hello, uh, my name's Ollie Slim and I work at the Children's Hospice South West. I'm joined here by Frank Fielding, Bristol City goalkeeper. Uh, we're just going to tell you a little bit about how we know Steve. I know him from him just coming off the street randomly one day, walking into the hospice and uh, formed a partnership with the Bristol City and uh, the Children's Hospice South West. Since then it's gone on to raise £75,000. It's made so much uh, media coverage, it's done a fantastic job. Um, without him, that would never have happened. Uh, is he any good at physioing? 
He's average, but no, he's a good guy and um, we're very grateful that we've got him. Um, with all the work he does off the pitch and all the work he does off the pitch, we're really grateful for him. Yeah, he's absolutely top boy. And so, Steve, have a great evening at the Football Medical Association Awards and uh, I hope your hair's looking opinion, good. Don't ask me to lie And beg for forgiveness for making you cry For making you cry well, Great people person and I think as well as being good at his job um, it's very important that uh, his personality is really endearing and brings people in. I think a lot of people trust him in football. They talk to him, not only from the medical side, but from the personal side. And that's a real skill and a real talent. And it's down to him as a human being. Very, very good working with him in this short time and wish him all the best. Delighted for him to get this award. And obviously we'll continue working with him in the near future. Some people got the real problem. Some people got the love.